Marcus Conti reporting. I got my yellow vest on. <laughs> it's the best I can do on a short notice. I got my helmet out because I don't want to have seen they're like, they're out in the street cracking heads, man. I don't want that shit going on, man. So is the yellow uh, vest movement making its way to the shores of the United States? I don't know, man. They're having an effect, right? They're having an effect. Right? It's working. Right? They're, they're getting, they got the president, uh, Emmanuel Marcone, macaroni, right? Macaroni president, ready to come to the table to meet their demands. I'll read that article. Right? Uh, so I want to talk about the stock market teetering what is now looking like uh, looking like it's, it's breaking support. Also, Alicasio. Alessandra Acasio Cortez, the gift that keeps giving, actually gave. Right, let's start there, right? So, so uh, Alessandra Acasio Cortez is the new, the newly elected freshman congresswoman from somewhere in Queens, New York, right? And she goes to her orientation in Washington, right? Goes down to fucking, goes down to D.C. and they have an orientation, right? All the sixty new new. Uh, New people sit them down and and tell them what time it is, right? Teach them what's going on, right? That's what they fucking did. Right? So, so she says, she says, uh, I'll try to read it. I'll read it with you. Ooh ah, looks like our congressional orientation had a lot more lobbyists than we thought. This is not okay. Oh, I get there's a picture. They they published a picture of. Her. Let me see what the, I can try to get the picture of her. Where is she? So you know who she is. Oh, here she is. Okay. So this is uh, a sal this is um, Alessandra Ocasio Cortez. Can you see it? Is it is it visual? So yeah, she's sitting down, and uh, the Congress, the the the, uh, the lobbyists, are are taking her under her wing, and um, yeah. So so she got uh, she got her orientation right. So where's the yeah? So so she says there's a lot. It's not okay. She don't know. She's not sure which ones the lobbyists are. This is not okay. Lobbyists are not impartial. They are employed to influence legislation. <laughs> Sixty incoming members were listening to panelists without knowing which were hired lobbyists. She couldn't tell which was which. <clears throat> They're all fucking lobbyists. They're all lobbyists. All right, so she did a good job, right? She's at least at least she's she's naive and blowing the whistle, right? You give her credit for that, right? She's saying that there's more lobbyists. They said <clears throat> there's other articles floating around about this. And so she said that uh, Goldman Sachs was there. All the banks are there, of course. J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, they're all there. All the you know HSBC, uh, all the investment banks, uh, Morgan Stanley. All these guys are there. They're there to influence, to buy influence. You think she's going to last? She's a fucking little baby when they come to the wolf. Right? She thinks, you think she's going to get by? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. So, so, but, but nonetheless, it's a, it's a, I guess a shout in the right direction, right? That she's at least in Congress. Uh, she is aware that there is a lobbyist problem around here. She looked around and said, well, where's all the activists? It's fucking welcome to Washington. That's what it is, right? It's pay for play, right? You don't understand pay for play. So, so the other, so before I get into this, um, I'll talk about the market, and then I'll talk about something else. So this is um, today, right now, Dow Jones Industrial Average. You see this corner right over here? Ah, uh, you see that third line down? That is not good. Oh, shit. That's starting to break down. So you remember last week I said, you know, and I don't know for whatever reason, it was the, the Dow was up on the top of that last line, right? And it was doing what's called a double bottom. But now you see what it's doing? It reversed. And that's the whole, this week, what's going on? The fucking yellow, yellow, co yellow coats, yellow vests in, 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 in uh, France, are telling the fucking people what time it is, man. They're telling the they're telling the politicians and the and the markets what time it is. It's probably, this is about the price of fucking 
petroleum. Now, I know it's about tax and tax and, you know, so don't fall into that shit because what they're going to try to do is say less tax. I know you guys want less tax. We all want less tax. And then the corporations get less tax and you get fucked again. Right. It's a it's a word game. It's a fucking play on words. You must raise the tax on corporations. You must raise the tax on corporations to 80%, 90%. You must choke the corporations and make them pay tax. Regular people don't pay tax. Do you understand? You understand, France. Don't let them get away with saying less tax, less tax, and then they walk off the table not paying fucking tax. That's the only way to get them. You can't regulate them. You cannot regulate these corporations. They're too fucking slick. So here's the stock market again. And uh, let me just kick in. So it's important because that is a... in. See, so you see that that's two years, right? That's all of Trump's time, right? And you look at the last half of it, it's just gave back everything, right? So now the, the notion that the markets are up, right? Uh, in the in the last year is now off the table, right? So, stock market's getting ready to crash. So what? It doesn't it? Doesn't it's not going to affect us, right? So let me read this. Um, oh, let me let me play this one piece, right? So, this um, so here I am, right? I'm I'm in my neighborhood, right? And and this whole yellow yellow vest thing going on in France. I again, I'm I, I'm a little late to it, right? Cuz I was I wasn't sure, you know, you see these protests pop up and you don't know what the origin is. You don't know how badly they mean it. And then you start to to investigate and you say, "Oh shit, it's the workers. It's real. It's the real it's real people standing up like mom and pops wearing the vests that they wear in their cars, right? That they're required to have and they're all putting on their vests and they're it's the people. It's the people coming up. So in my neighborhood, right, that's, that's over in France. What's going on in the U.S.? Right? Very unusual activity. Check this shit out. Military trucks. It was yesterday. They have... Uh, Real personnel in there. Those are not. Those are not phony balonies. You could see them. They're in. When I saw the trucks go by, they're in fatigues. Right? And there's the, the Fort Hamilton is at the end of the block, right? And they're turning into the fort. Right? See, I mean, it's this is out. This is out on a public street. This is not a. Uh, this is not a. It's not that they're not on the base. They're in. They're in the street, turning into the base. Now, it's uh, in fairness. I've seen this before. Right. I've seen this kind of activity before in front of the fort. So what does it mean when military trucks are rolling down? On you know, I don't know if they're armed or not, but they're definitely in uniform. But there was a caravan right before that one with about the same number of trucks. So there's like you know eight to ten military trucks rolling down the streets of Brooklyn. With, you know, military personnel in there. Who the hell knows what's in the trucks? Right. Shit going down. Shit going down in uh, France. I don't know. So I'm gonna read from uh, AP. Right. So today, Mac Macaron. <laughs> killing this guy's name, Emmanuel Macron. Macron, to speak to French on protests. But is it too late? This is AP reporting, right? But it's some really good details. French President Emmanuel Macron will be speaking to his nation at last Monday after increasing violence. Radicalized protests against his leadership have shaken the country and scared its beloved capital. His long silence has aggravated and angered many protesters, and many protesters are hoping only to hear one thing from Macron. I quit. So they, they want his, they want his, uh, the people want his re resignation, but it's uh, very unlikely. Instead, Macron is expected to announce measures to reduce taxes and boost purchasing power for French working class who feel the, his presidency has favored the rich. <laughs> oh, really? His his presidency has favored the rich. You mean he's a he's a neocon? You mean he's a uh, he's a he's a, he's 
they got gold, Goldman Sachs is in his, he's in their pocket he's in the bank's pocket really it's not just U.S. Do you understand, right? It's not just U.S. You see that, that that these banks are all over the all over the West taking over, right? It's easy to topple France because they're unarmed. The U.S. is an armed an armed citizenry. They're going to have more. They're going to have a bigger problem if they try that here, but they will try because it's coming. You could see it's coming, right? Instead, Macron is expected to announce measures to reduce. Type, I read that already. The forty-year-old leader met Monday in his. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's scaring. I, I missed a, an important line. It says Paris scaring tourists and foreign investors alike. See, that's what you do, right? When you hit them in the pocket, there's more about that. The 40-year-old leader met Monday in his presidential palace with local and national politician, politicians, unions, and business leaders to hear their concerns, but no representatives of the scattered leadership protest movement. So he he met, but he has no represent no none of the yellow vests were represented at the table. That's typical, right? They're like, what are we gonna do about them, right? It's not they're not for you. They're trying to figure out a strategy how they're gonna defeat you. That's what they're gonna do, right? The guy's gonna speak later today. I was gonna wait until after he spoke, but it's gonna be the same bullshit. He's just gonna give you, he's gonna give a, a routine fucking pitch. And then Saturday, the, 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 these, these protests are going to continue, in my view. On Monday evening, Macron will give a national televised address, his first public words in more than a week. Partip participants at Monday's meeting with the president didn't leak his plan, but seemed to grasp the gravity of the yellow vest crises. We will listen to him to see if, he, uh, if we have been heard. Small business representatives lam lamented the blow to retail and other companies at the height of the Christmas shopping season. A centrist politician who heads a group of regional leaders said Macron gave no signs of stepping down. A, pre a presidential official said 37 people, this is interesting, this is the meeting that he held to try to, to uh, you know, damage control. Presidential officials said 37 people were around the table with the president on Monday describing how the Yellow Vest protest movement is impacting their industries, unions, small businesses, and local governments. <laughs> I like the way they say their, describing how the Yellow Vest protest movement is impacting their industries. See, it's like, it's like the separation of the people, the workers, and the and 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 the oligarchy, the people that are they're running the show, the the one percent, right? That's it's that's that's my read on it, right? So we are ready to make any gesture that works, he said. What is important now is to put an end to the crises and find peace and unity in our country again. Fallout from the protest so far could cost France. 0.1% of gross DP, gross domestic product, and the, who cares? Uh, okay, so so that that's all that's all I want to read about. It's working, right? The the yellow vest movement in France is working. They've got the president of the country. You got you got Trump tweeting. Trump's trying to inter interject his name in it. They want Trump. They want Trump. No, they don't want fucking Trump. Go go on RT and look at the interviews of the the Frenchmen there. They put Macron and Trump in the same category. They're both corporatists, you know, you know, talking out of the other side of their mouth. That's how the French. So don't don't kid yourself that 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 Trump is the the, the man. He's not. In this case, he's not. The French people are are awake to the fact that the that the corporate corporations the banks mainly the banks right uh, it's in the stock market it's in equities it's in commodities it's in currency right it's all in the it's all in the in the financial markets the answer right so right? so the people are winning right? that's that's all i mean the people are when you look at this the people are winning uh it's a good thing you know it's a good day for for france uh, 
I mean, uh, is it going to spread to the U.S.? Are we going to get some? Are people going to wake up finally, finally, or or you're going to you're going to sit around and you're going to wait for you're going to wait for hopium? <laughs> Somebody used that term, hopium. You know, you're going to wait for your 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 take your nice dose of hopium. My name is Marcus Conti reporting. Kindly subscribe to this uh, channel. Uh, also, uh, consider a one dollar donation. Um, I know a lot of people watch, and, and you know everything's free in this life, right? Everything's fucking free, right? But you know, if you gave like like you know when you when you're in the subway and you, I don't know if you guys are from New York, but when you're in the subway and you see a musician playing and you you stop and you watch, you take a dollar out of your pocket and you put it in the bucket, right? It's a dollar, right? So. I would I, I'm making a plea here, you know, this is the tip jar, right? This is this is I take no money from anybody. I'm not a corporate I don't take I'm not being paid by anybody. I'm s i am I do this on my own for 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 the for a good cause, right? And kindly consider making a uh, a one time donation through PayPal or become a Patreon. The link is down below. You could you could give a dollar a month, right? Just a dollar, right? And all the thousands of people that watch this, just give a dollar so that I can sustain this, continue, change out some of the artwork, get 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 the t-shirts. People have been asking me, when are you going to get some t-shirts? When are you going to get some new stickers? Well, when are you going to give me a fucking dollar? <laughs> all right. I love you guys, man. Marcus Conti reporting. Peace out.